Sometimes when you get parts that have been custom made, the fit is a bit disappointing. The parts can be extremely well made, but when you come to put them on the gun, they're either too tight or sometimes too loose. One of the reasons is because Crossman makes so many parts that they can't run to very close tolerances. Their, their tolerances, the amount by which things can be wrong, is quite wide. And this is just a little demonstration of that. Here I've got a King Rat straight adapter that I'm in the process of making. Here's one that I made earlier. <laughs> Here are three tubes that I use for setting things up. There's a King Rat tube, a 2250B and a 2240 tube that I've cut the threads off. So here we go. 2240 first. Straight on. No problem at all. Very loose up and down. Quite tight sideways. I mean, okay, the screws will tighten that up a little bit and stop it from flopping about, but to me, that's, that's quite loose. The 2250B. It's got a valve in it. But there you go, look, that's, that's quite a snug fit. But again, there's quite a lot of slop up and down. Very little sideways. That's because the tube is actually not round, it's oval. A lot of slop, hardly any slop. Again, the screws will tighten it up. Now then, the King Rat tube, nicely polished. Won't go on. I'd have to use a hammer to get that on there and it would mark it up quite badly. Not a chance of it going on there. But this is one that I made earlier. That's a nice snug fit. There's no slop in that at all. That's a lovely fit. I'm well pleased with that. Now the 2250B tube. That's quite loose. Okay, the screws again will hold that nice and firm. But there's still quite a lot of slop in that. And now the 2240. Okay, this is quite an old tube. But that doesn't mean to say that it's had a lot of end pieces put in and pulled out. Look at that. Look how poorly that's been machined, and that's from the factory. And here we go, look at that. That's as loose as anything. That's slopping about like a dick in a top hat. Even if you put the screws in, that'll still be loose. To me, that's a totally unacceptable fit. Yet, no matter how well I make that piece, if it doesn't fit your tube, you're still gonna blame me. Or Peas, or Dennis depending on who made the part that you've got. That's one of the problems that we've got to face sometimes.